there is one net zero that I think the majority of this country would like. And that's to have net zero immigration. <laughs> because the reality is our population is at record high levels. It's almost 70 million. It's about 10 million more than some 15 years ago. Firstly, that didn't actually have the consent of the people. But secondly, the incompetent politicians and leaders, they didn't plan for the growth with infrastructure and investment in doctors, in hospitals, in affordable housing, everything that goes with it, which is one of the reasons why our public services are in such a terrible state. And actually, the benefit of net zero immigration, what's interesting is about 400 odd thousand people emigrate every year. So with net zero immigration, you welcome about 400,000 people in every year. The population stays the same. We can catch up. But the real benefit is that businesses will have to train and skill up our own people. Wages for the least well off will go up. And that will make work pay again, which brings me back earlier in the speech. If you make work pay, you get, you get two million people of the five million hours of work benefits rapidly back into work. Every million people on benefits is 15 billion quid, give or take. This is really important. It's our future. It's our young people. It is so important. So net zero immigration is the right policy for this country, without question. So we welcome those, the skills that we need whilst we're training up our own. But then in terms of illegal immigration, we should have zero. <laughs> Only Reform UK has a clear, workable plan that will stop the boats.